You're listening to Murder in Your Ear, produced by NRM Performance. This is The Witch's Murder, our Halloween special. If you enjoy it, please follow us on Facebook or Instagram at NRM Performance or on Twitter at Murder Ear. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy our spooky Halloween special, The Witch's Murder. Mom, so I'm not really freaking out, like, I'm not. And I want to know what happens. I really do. What's wrong? Well, it's just... What, honey? Well, it's like... Okay, so I moved to this creepy little town of Appleton in the middle of nowhere on Halloween. We decide to go trick-or-treating in this old weird lady who, by the way, looks like a witch from any horror movie. Oh, that was just old Mag. Who is a very freaky looking lady. Then she, old Mag, acts all crazy and tells us not to go near a certain house. But then that house, I know, I know, is the one we live in. And she touched my birthmark. And she called us Jacob's women. And I don't know how she knows you or our last name. Yes, hun, I know. That's what I was trying to explain. And then you tell me that we have some weird heritage here in this creepy town. And then you tell me about children who chant and then bleed black blood from their noses. And there's two sisters who seem ever so much like witches. Lavinia and Giselle. Giselle is a school teacher. And she was making her kids chant and it was creepy. And then Lavinia has a black cat and disappeared into thin air. And you've already told me two people are dead, both in really creepy ways. That poor girl, Amelia, who the others were so mean to. Yes, Amelia. So yes, I've already told you that Miss Gooding has certain ways of teaching the girls that seem a little unorthodox. What does that mean? Weird. Oh. Oh then, yes. Very unorthodox. (laughs) And our story started on Halloween here in Appleton in 1870. The students of the school, plus their teacher and other members of the community, were all headed to a bonfire in the town center, led by Goodman Reese. But the kids were all dressed in creepy cloaks and... Amelia had upset Miss Gooding by saying that her mother had disagreed. And we also learned, when we met Dr. Holmes and his wife Annabella, that Amelia's mom had just died. And she was bleeding black blood from her nose. Black blood. And so was Amelia. And all the other girls were so mean to her. Amelia, I mean. But mom, Annabella, the doctor's wife, she wasn't acting normal either. No, we'll get to more of that. Remember that they lost their daughter, Jane. And she was Amelia's best friend. She was. Poor Amelia. And that reverend Jacob Moorhead and his wife, creepy, saying they go from town to town whenever they feel evil spirits. The other girls were picking on Amelia, so she ran off into the woods. But the two brothers, William and Stephen Cooper, Stephen had his wife die recently and moved back. But then he said he knows the reverend. Weird. 
and his brother seems to have a crush on Miss Gooding, the school teacher. You'll have to wait and see. Mom, I hate it when you say that. And then Goodman Reese, he's like the boss, right? But he knows Lavinia, and she seems to have like- Let's not jump ahead. Anyway, poor Amelia ran off into the woods. The people around the town all heard screams. Many of them had been planning to take that shortcut. They found her body, dead. Just like... Just like the doctor's daughter, Jane! But mom, this is what I'm saying. It's all so much more creepy because it's Halloween. What was that? Why did the lights flicker? Oh, how odd. I didn't think it was supposed to storm tonight. Oh, there go the lights again. You know what, Sarah? Let me just light some candles, just in case we lose power. I guess this will really add to that 1870 ambiance. You okay for me to continue? Sure, I think. I'll stop at any time. Okay, so where are we starting? Well, where we left off, in the woods. Miss Gooding, take the children to the bonfire. You wish to continue with the bonfire now? Aye. It will be good for us to not forego our plan. But, Amelia? She's... D isn't that disrespectful? Don't you question your elders, girl. Disrespectful young Miss Smythe. <laughs> She will lay her mark on you. Yes, she will. I, I must take my wife home. D dearest Annabella, it, it is time for your medicine and, and, and to have a lie down. Come. Get away from me. Get oh, away from God. me. You're trying to kill me. I know it. You're slipping poison in me. You're making me insane. Driving me mad. It's all you. <laughs> My darling, I, I would never hurt you. I have some lavender sage here. Put it to her nose. It will calm her. Cease, woman! There will be no more witchcraft in this town. Goodman Reese, I am not certain what your intent in having this meeting at the bonfire was. My but... intent was and is to celebrate the old ways. We banish out the evil for the previous 12 months so we can greet the new day and season filled with hope and kindness, and I intend to ensure this happens. Uh, Miss Gooding, take the children to the barn and fire. Uh, Fiona, no more objections, I trust. No, Goodman Reese. Wonderful. Uh, Lavinia, you accompany Mrs. Holmes to the doctor's residence. My wife will attend to Mrs. Holmes as well. I will not have any of your methods of healing near her. My, my. But you're a proud man, Reverend. I've known many proud men like you. Pride comes before the fall. Just you wait and see. Enough, Lavinia. You and Mrs. Moorhead accompany Annabella. Go. Now. <laughs> it's all Cecil. <laughs> He's making me ill, I tell you. <laughs> Poor Jane! Poor sweet baby Jane! Amelia and her mom are dancing in the poppies! <laughs> Cecil holds the red flowers, but they're black! They're turning black! Black like Appleton! <laughs> All hope is crushed by the lion's mane! <laughs> Goodman Reese, I'm, I'm so sorry for my wife. Things have not been... No need for apologies, Doctor. I, I know it has not been easy. <sighs> Another dead child. Miss Gooding, why are you still here? Take the children now. But, Goodman Reese, I'm not sure that's wise. Forgive me, Miss Gooding, but she also has not been well. Not been well? She was just in a trance. We could not rouse her. 
And yet she... Uh, arrived here before us. Oh, Mr. Cooper, you are too kind to show such concern for me. Goodman Reese, the children and I had been doing some chanting. It takes a physical toll on me. I think when I heard poor Amelia... scream... Well, I think it was all a bit much. I'm fine now, and ready to perform my duties. Come, children. Chanting? Much like they just were. You witnessed it, Stephen. Aye, it was similar to... Enough. Men, we will stay here and take care of this poor child's body. And then we will reconvene at the bonfire. Lavinia, Mrs. Moorhead, please join us if dear Annabella recovers sufficiently. I will not stand idly by while... End of discussion. We go our separate ways. For now. Take care, Miss Gooding. As you wish, For good memories. Come along, dear. <coughs> what is it? What's going on back there, girls? <coughs> Fiona, are you alright? Oh, goodness. Miss Gooding, her nose is bleeding. Just like Amelia's. Glad we have the candles ready. Me too. I know. Let's break into some of our Halloween candy stash from tonight. You got a ton of good stuff. All right. Is Fiona gonna be okay? Here, have a Kit Kat. Where was I? What is that? What is that you're making? Just a tea made from the roots of the elm trees that grow around here. She needs to sleep. Where are the poppies? The dandelions are laughing. <laughs> I need the red flower. Give me the red flowers. I need them. Here, my sweet Annabella, drink. Drink. Feel the warmth and trust your soul. Sleep is here, will make you whole. Feel the warmth and trust your soul. Sleep is here, will make you whole. Feel the warmth and trust your soul. Sleep is here, will make you whole. Feel the warmth and trust your soul. Sleep is here, will make you whole. Stop! Stop this wickedness! Feel the warmth and trust my wickedness. Sleep is here to stop. S stop. <laughs> wickedness? You think it wicked to bring peace to the troubled? The poor soul can finally rest. There is no rest through witchcraft, only through salvation. We should have stayed by her side, encouraged her to fight her demons, not drugged her with plants. I am afraid her demons could not be fought in a night. Alas for her. This has happened before? Oh, indeed. But she seemed so kind and conversational before we heard those screams, I mean. She is kind and conversational. Except when the madness takes her. She felt the loss of her child full keenly. Aye, that is for certain. But twas not the tragedy that snapped her grip on reality. What do you mean? Do you not know of our Dr. Holmes? Oh, he seemed a delightful man. I am so sad that he has to see her suffer so. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, he is indeed delightful. But, you see, she was his patient before she was his wife. She had stayed in his clinic back east. For what affliction was she there? <laughs> Why, the same as now. The affliction of madness.
Come, come, girls, let us sit. Fiona, has your nose stopped bleeding? Yes, miss. I think it was just from nerves. It didn't smell badly or anything. Like Amelia, I mean. Miss Gooding, what did you put on Amelia's face? What do you mean, Anna? Anna, don't ask questions. Miss Gooding, are we still to send our evils into the fire? Indeed we are. I think it's more important now than ever before. Poor Amelia. Well, serves her right. She should have never have run away. We were just teasing her. You were all being hateful, and now... She did smell bad, and she was peculiar. I've told you girls before, we have to stick together. We have to trust each other. Sisters support sisters. Trust is, is truth. truth. Sisters support sisters. Trust is truth. That's very good. Now, I know tonight has been frightening and very difficult, and I asked a lot of you back there, all of you, but you all showed great spirit. If we stick together, all of us, we can be safe. But if we break apart, it's all over. Do you understand? <coughs> oh, look, miss, your cat. Ah, where did he come from? He's so silent, and his eyes glow. Black cat. Black as night, come he may, come he might. Beware the cat as midnight comes, his coat will shine as evil hum. Where did you learn that? <laughs> Mr. Edgar is silent. He's my harbinger of magic. <gasps> I always thought Mr. Edgar was sweet. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't joke that way. I'm sorry, girls. Mr. Edgar is a good cat. Aren't you, boy? Yes, you are. Did you hear that? It sounded like... Sounded like laughter. Maybe it's Amelia. <laughs> Nonsense. You know her spirit cannot haunt us. You all helped me ensure it. It got colder out here. Miss Gooding, can we start now, or do we have to wait for Goodman Reese? Let us begin. I'm certain Goodman Reese has his hands full. Victoria, you may come and help me prepare. That reverend is going to start having church services again. My parents want me to go to church, but he's scary. That big black beard, but his wife, she scares me more. Her eyes, they glow. Did you see how he looked at Amelia? I saw how he looked at us. I saw. I know what you mean. He looked fascinated. More than that, like he wanted to devour her. <coughs> Oh, Mr. Edgar, you made a goose walk over my grave just then. My mother told me that the Reverend and his wife travel to wherever evil lies and drive it out. I think they're here for them. Miss Gooding and her sister, I mean. Girls, enough idle gossip. Evil lives in gossip. Remember that, Fiona Smythe. Now. Come, it's time to start our ritual. She couldn't have hurt us, right? Oh no. Your nose is bleeding again! William, I need to speak to you. Things here are not as they seem. Stephen, I know that you are suspicious of Miss Gooding. But I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for how she beat us to the side of the dead girl. I'm certain there's nothing out of the ordinary. No, no, forgive me, brother. But that is not what I was referring to. Uh, you see, 
I know them. I've seen what they do. We have to get far away from- Stephen, what an unexpected and welcome pleasure to see a friendly and familiar face here, so far from where we've been. Were you in New York together? Aye. Stephen and his beautiful wife were both members of our congregation. She was most troubled, but I thought that we had helped her find peace. That she would never enjoy. The illness struck soon after. Trust that she has found peace in a better place. What in the world? What is it? What's wrong? Did you injure your hand? No, I, no, I hadn't, I hadn't, but just then when you clasped it, it, it burned. Gentlemen, come here quickly. I, I don't understand, I just went to touch her hair and oh. What is, G God save us all, the devil is here. What happened to her face? The good doctor and I were trying to cover it before we bury the poor child. But when I, I meant to move her hair, her face... God help me, her face plain melted away. I will say that elm tea that you gave Miss Annabella seems to have been effective. It's an ancient remedy. My mother taught me, and her mother before her. All the way back to the old country, generations ago. Must be nice to feel so connected. To your heritage, I mean. I always think we women can learn more from each other than men folk can ever teach us. I've not spent much time with many women. Not as an adult, anyway. Not without my husband. But I am so grateful. What about your mother? Oh, she was a troubled soul. She had been a member of Jacob's congregation, a friend of his wife. His wife? Yes. She passed from this earth. She and my mother. There was an accident at the church. Jacob was kind enough to take me in. He put me through school. When I was 18, I joined his congregation. We grew fond of each other. <laughs> the rest, as they say, is history. Why am I telling you all this? Probably the spell of loquacity I have you under. <laughs> Works like a charm. Heaven save me! <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, I don't know a spell such as that. I am only teasing. Oh. I never joke about the devil's work. Never. Oh, my dear Mrs. Moorhead, I do not work for the devil. Trust me in that. Annabella, she is sleeping as soundly as a babe. Let us away to the bonfire. I am sure you'll be in for a treat. I suppose we should, if Mrs. Holmes will be safe here. Oh, she's quite safe. It would take something extraordinary to wake her from this slumber. I am intrigued to see this final ritualistic bonfire of yours. Final? I believe you mean annual. Jacob will ensure that is not the case. Next All Hallows' Eve, all who are welcome will be in church, not out dancing around the bonfire in some pagan sacrilege. <laughs> What? Stop that! Why are you laughing so? Just at your naivete. Edmund founded this town, and he will never let the bonfire cease. Edmund? I mean, Goodman Reese. Mom, please tell me we are not related to that creepy preacher guy. You are jumping so far ahead of yourself, Sarah. I'll get to it, I promise. I feel bad for his wife. The reverence? Well, her too, I guess. But no, the doctor's wife, Annabella. 
Well, I can understand why. It wasn't easy back then for people, like her especially. How did her face melt off? Is the cat magical? If you'll stop interrupting, I'll tell you. Sorry, I'll be quiet. So, meanwhile, the men were still in the woods. What in the devil is going on in this town? I can't believe I wasn't brought here sooner. How in the world could someone's face melt under your hand? It could be due to atmosphere, or perhaps a shift in the weather, or carbon. Uh, this town is just fine. These tragedies are isolated incidents. And what do you mean brought here? I received word of strange incidences. Of the weird sisters. Of your odd penchant for ritual. It's all going to change, Goodman. The weird pagan rites, the child deaths, all of it. This will become a good, God-fearing community. But, Reverend, we are a close-knit community of good, God-fearing people. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that, William. Since I've arrived, I've heard nothing but whispers of strange occurrences and behaviors, of superstition and ritual. Nothing that I like, Reverend, I can tell you. Reverend, we are, we are so glad to have you here. We have been wanting to have the church reopened. I know Goodman Reese will agree with me on that. I'll reserve my judgment on that for the time being, Dr. Holmes, if you don't mind. <laughs> the Reverend has quite a following. Will your other congregants be joining you here in Appleton soon? I? I have been blessed, to be sure. They are awaiting my word before any decisions are made. I want to ensure that Appleton will be a good home for them all. I look forward to discussing all those matters at more length with you, Reverend. For Appleton, as you are learning, is a close-knit community. Not everyone is a good fit. Well, are we going to complete the burial of the poor child? And Goodman Reese, I'm afraid her mother is still on the operating table in my surgery. Oh, was it? Yes. The dark blood. Neither the Reverend nor myself could have saved her. Lavinia. What's that, Goodman Reese? Oh, uh, just a thought. I isn't Lavinia with your wife now? I in your house? She is, indeed. You yourself sent her there. And the body of Mrs. Cooper is... In the surgery, which is in the basement. Why do you ask? Should, should I be worried for my Annabella? Will that witch put a spell on her? Oh, Just... be still, Doctor. I sent Lavinia with Annabella because, though you don't hold with her, she has the healing knowledge to help tremendously. I'm sure it will all be fine. What's that? Is that Sage Goodman? Uh, indeed. I find it calming. Uh, let us finish with this burial, and then we must away to the bonfire. Time is slipping. We must away. Girls, no more gossip. Make the circle of trust. Miss Gooding, Fiona's... I'm fine. I'm coming. Don't say a word. Not about me. Do you understand? But aren't you worried? I mean, your nose is doing the same thing- Mind your own business, Emily! Fiona can take care of herself. Besides, if she stays further away from the fire, Miss Gooding won't be able to see the dried blood under her nose. Dried blood? Oh no! I thought I got it all. Just stand further in the shadows, like Margaret said. Miss Gooding sent me to come get you all. Fiona, your nose- don't you say a word about it, Victoria Goody Two-Shoes. Ow! Oh, stop pinching me! You're hurting me! Fine, but if we don't get over there soon, she's going to notice. Notice what? Why, Fiona, is my light bothering your eyes? Uh, yes, miss. It's very bright. My, my. I do hope you're not suffering from the same affliction as our dear Amelia. She did suffer so for the last day of her life. <sighs> well, Fiona, 
Let's make the circle around you. You may begin. Girls, move closer to the fire and link arms. You know the words? Of course, Miss Gannon. Yes. I've been practicing. Yes, Excellent. Cloaks up. Set your jack-o'-lanterns around the perimeter of our circle. They will guard against the evil spirits. For tonight, we shall be cleansed, but must also be protected until we are fully clean. Hands together. Hands, Hands together. together. Link we all. Link, link, link we, we all. all. To help our sister. To help our, our sister. sister. Walk proud and tall. Walk, Walk proud, proud and, and tall. tall. Into the circle do I enter? Welcome. Humble do I share? Share. For my evils give me care. 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 It begins. Care. Too much further now. Are you all right, Mrs. Moorhead? Ah, yes, I'm afraid. This night. Yes, I'm afraid. It's frayed my nerves a little. And these paths are so unknown to me. I well, you're in good hands. I've been down them a fair good time. I won't sell you to the fairy folk. Not tonight, anyway. Are you mocking me? I wouldn't dream of it. I know we've gotten off on the wrong foot, and you think my way is strange. Ah, but I would have thought the shoe would be on the other foot there. I do not believe that I have passed any sort of judgment on you or your beliefs. You may be right. But that being said, I'll still keep you safe from the fairies and the spirits this most wicked of nights. <laughs> I believe you are trying to scare me. I see why you are unmarried. A man would tame that wicked streak of humor within you. That independence and fire of spirit. Ah, uh, but my dear Mrs. Moorhead, I was married in another lifetime. He is not of this realm anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. How did he pass? Was he from Appleton? No one is really from... Appleton. It wouldn't be possible, you see. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes! It sounded like it was behind us. Is that? <laughs> sure not! Yes. Mrs. Holmes. Annabella, you tricky girl! Mrs. Holmes, but you said... How did she wake from that slumber? <laughs> I have a feeling we are about to find out. William, are you not in pieces from worry? Stephen, there is no time. I have a feeling that something evil is coming could be already here, and it's not done with us, not by a long shot. William, evil is here. I've seen it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I, I've seen what it's done before. William, there's something I've never shared with you before. About my dear Penelope, I mean. I was always worried it would have an effect on you. I, I mean, after what happened all those years ago, and that girl. Oh, I was too anxious. I am much better since then. Nothing to be anxious about with me. I haven't had a spell in years. Dr. Holmes has taken wonderful care of me. You should see him, Stephen. 
It will make you feel like a new man. Stephen, we are together now. Speak to me of what is on your mind. It will do you good. It will give you peace. Well, Penelope, her death, um, it was sudden, as I said, but... Gentlemen. Reverend, um, I didn't hear you approach. We've been calling you for some moments. Come, we must stick together. This is no night for separation. Come, we must move quickly. Care. Care. There they are. Care. 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 What, what sort Care. of devilment is this? Care. Is that Fiona? Care. Levitating? Care. Come, Dr. Care. Holmes. We will put an end to this. Care. Miss Gooding, cease and desist this immediately. Care. No, Reverend. Tis a dangerous time to interrupt the old ways. Cease all evil, bow and pray. Cease all evil, bow and pray. Reverend, why would you interrupt us? Now that poor girl- Reverend. Jacob, you must come. It's Annabella. Dr. Holmes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you both. What? What is it? Where is she? I left you to watch her. Lavinia, I should have known better. No time. I need you, Edmund. She's not a human. She's like a thing possessed. <laughs> That's her. Sounds like the very devil is in her. Or worse. We should hurry. Leave the girls here by the fire. Let us go. Now! <laughs> Miss Gooding! Oh no, what do we do? Look at Fiona! Look at the blood! She's not conscious. Black blood. She's going to die, and we're all alone! I'm not sure. It certainly was loud. Mom? The door! Yes, Sarah. I hear it too. I feel bad for whoever is out in this weather. Mom! Don't answer it! Not on All Hallows' Eve. Oh, wow. I knew this story would be too much for you. All Hallows' Eve. Listen to you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? It looks like there's no one here, but a branch has fallen on the roof. But I heard knocking. Are you sure there's no one here? Yes, see for yourself. I'm going back inside where it's warm. Mom? Mom? Mom! What is it? Look! On the corner of the porch! A purple witch's hat. Did you drop that on your way in? That must be what happened. No. Mom, look. My hat is on the side table. Inside. There. Sarah, get inside. What's written on it? What? Where? Let me see. <gasps> A curse on Jacob's women. Mom, what is going on? Who would have put that there? Oh, goodness. Maybe I shouldn't have started the story. Sarah, let's just forget all about it. Let's just go to sleep. Mom, some weird old lady has called us Jacob's women and yelled about this house. Then someone puts a creepy hat, like the one I was wearing, on our porch in the middle of the storm. Are we somehow in this story? We shouldn't be. I, I mean, not exactly. I can't go to sleep. You may as well keep going. Please. All right. I don't think I have a choice. Now where was I?